We have new Xbox Game Pass games just announced launching this April and May with an incredible 11 new Day One Game Pass games to talk about. I'm Sonny, your host. And we're going to start this with Minecraft Legends, and this is available today. You're going to grab your trusty pickaxe, rally your allies and troops, and prepare for an epic battle in the history of Minecraft as piglins are on a rampage, and it's going to be up to you to stop their plans before they conquer your land. Now, this is a new direction for the franchise with a mix of strategy and action where you command hordes of troops on your side with a plethora of weapons to use and fight alongside with. This main campaign can be played completely solo or with you and up to three other buddies as you fight against the piglins or play in multiplayer battles if you guys really want to challenge yourself. Reviews so far for this game have been fair across the board. Overall thoughts are Minecraft Legends seems to be a solid action strategy title with an easy to jump into if you're new to the genre. So it's a game that's really easy to get into but kind of hard to master. This one's available on consoles, classes, Cloud and PC. In Coffee Talk 2, you step into the shoes of a talented barista running your coffee shop that caters to the nocturnal world. But this isn't an ordinary coffee shop. It's a hub where fantasy characters come to unwind and share their tales of adventure over a steaming hot cup of joy. It's certainly a unique game that lets you do more than just tend to the customers serving coffee, but one that gives you the experience of taking a look into others' lives. On top of the storytelling in this game, there's this really cool aspect to just making the perfect cup of coffee that meets the unique taste and preferences of your customers. Coffee Talk 2 lands on April 20th on consoles, cloud, and PC. So Medieval Dynasty is an RPG where you play as a young man who has fled from the brutalities of never-ending wars to start a fresh new life. With no resources or experience, you become the master to many skills that help you lead your small community. This game's been available for some time now on PC and Xbox Series X, but on April 20th, you can now enjoy it on Xbox one. So forget everything you knew about farming simulators because Homestead Arcana is here to really change that up. In this game, you take on the role of a spell casting witch on a quest to save the world from the deadly miasma that threatens to destroy everything in its path. But to do that, you have to become more powerful, and for that, you need to grow some magical crops. Now, as you grow and tend to your plants, you'll unlock new spells and abilities that help you fight off evil forces and restore the land to its former glory. Homestead Arcana is a unique mixture of fantasy RPG and the traditional farming simulator where you have to constantly fight monsters that are freely roaming the world while also growing crops to make progress. This one certainly looks to be a unique farming sim that will arrive on April 21st on Xbox Series X and S, Cloud, and PC. The Pokemon games are fun, but if you're looking for something more refreshing with similar gameplay, Cassette Beast might just be the game for you. The game takes the classic Pokemon gameplay but gives it a nice little stir. Developed by Bitten Studio, Studio, Cassette Beast is a monster taming game where you catch monsters in old school cassettes and then use them to acquire their characteristics in battle. So instead of simply using these monsters, you actually become one and fight others in tactical battles. Each monster has its own strengths and weaknesses that you have to keep in mind to outwit your opponents. You even have to combine them together to create more powerful and unique beasts. This is a must try if you guys are into games like Pokemon, but with a really cool twist. This one lands on a April 26 on PC. Blast Blue Cross Tag Battle Special Editions coming later this April where franchises collide from your favorite characters in Persona, Under Night and Birth, RWBY, and more, and you'll choose your team of two to face off in some intense fight action battles with fast action gameplay, some gorgeous visuals. The special edition also comes with all the DLC that's ever been released for the title with an insane amount of new characters across the franchises and completely new stories that you'll be tackling and exploring. Exploring. Blast Blue Cross Tag Battle will be launching on Game Pass on April 27th on consoles, cloud, and PC. We all love a good mystery that fascinates us in a way that sometimes is beyond our wildest imaginations, and I think that is what the last case of Benedict Fox is all about. And this game takes you into a dark and twisted world of murder and mystery where you play as a detective who is tasked to solve the grisly murder of a couple in a hauntingly atmospheric world inspired by the works of H.P. Lovecraft. But unlike some mystery solving games, The Last Case of Benedict Fox is a Metroidvania style game that's going to have you exploring a vast and treacherous world filled with demons, puzzles, and hidden secrets. However, your unholy alliance with a demon is going to give you the power to revisit the memories of the recently deceased, and you'll be searching for any clue that's going to help you crack the case. You're going to have to have some serious puzzle solving skills with this one and an extraordinary awareness of your surroundings to find those clues. This one is sent to 
arrive on April 27th on consoles and PC. Now, Redfall is one of the most anticipated games of the year, and for good reasons. This upcoming shooter is really set to take the gaming world by storm with an awesome storyline and some heart-pumping gameplay. It's set on a vast open-world island, and this game's gonna let you team up with a band of survivors to fight some really bloodthirsty vampires who have taken the whole island hostage and you have nowhere to go. From the creators of Dishonored and Prey, you can expect nothing less than top-notch gameplay with some intense battles. Redfall's gonna have a unique blend of action, horror, and adventure that I think is gonna keep you at the edge of your seat as you battle against the odds to survive. With limited resources and unlimited enemies, you are free to take on these monsters alone, or you can team up with you and three other players to make your life a little easier. But guys, one thing to note, the game is set to launch on Xbox Series X and S at 30 FPS with a performance mode that will be available at a later date on launch. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, we'll be slaying vampires on May 2nd. I, for one, am looking forward to it, and this will be landing on Xbox Series X and S, Cloud, and PC. And with that, we're going to take an early look at May titles. We'll start this with another Day 1 Game Pass release in Ravenlock. This is a story of a little girl who gets pulled into a mirror world to fulfill a prophecy only she now has a new abilities she's never had before, and those are going to help her fight the forces of darkness. This is a game filled with mystery, intrigue, and a lot of evil monsters, plus a vast world to explore. You'll kill monsters, solve puzzles, and hopefully save the world on May 4th. So Fuga Melodies of Steel 2 is a game about war that is destroying everything, and children are its only hope. Only these children are in the driver's seat of a powerful tank set to face some immense battles. This is a turn based RPG that has you leading your team of kids, all with their own unique skills, while making your own choices of how the story plays out. If you guys are a fan of RPG games and turn-based combat, this one's going to be for you when it lands on May 11th. Now, those looking for a horror title well before Halloween is going to be happy with this one with Amnesia the Bunker. It's a survival horror game that's going to have you at the edge of your seat as you play a soldier in World War One, trying to escape a deadly bunker with just a few tools at your disposal and one single bullet. It's a game of keeping your wits about you as you solve puzzles, uncover secrets, and fight for your survival on May 16th. Railway Empire 2 is a game about awesome locomotives from the past that has you building the ultimate railway network with bridges, tunnels, and rail lines across all of the US and continental Europe. You lead your company and take it from just an ordinary business to a booming industry in the 1800s. This sequel also comes with bigger maps, better visuals, and expandable train stations filled with diverse options. Railway Empires 2 rides on Game Pass on May 25th. Our last game is Far World Pioneers. This is an upcoming open world sci-fi sandbox adventure where you have a rare mix of Minecraft, Terraria, Stardew Valley that has you doing anything and everything you desire either alone or with friends in multiplayer. And this is an RPG with resource gathering, crafting, farming, managing settlements as you explore a vast planet for alien life. You'll also be salvaging resources resources, building your bases to conquer, and one cool thing is you're going to be recruiting AI survivors who also come with their own unique personalities and skills. This looks like an incredible in-depth sandbox game that has a lot of hype from me. It's a day one title and it's set for May 30th on Game Pass. That brings us to all the games that are leaving Game Pass this April 30th. As always, every game on this list has a 20% discount if you decide to purchase it before it leaves the Game Pass library. And if you guys want a list of the best up coming Game Pass games this year in 2023, check out the video on the screen.